This debate is proudly brought to you by the Department of Economic Development, KwaZulu-Natal. Let's start with how you deem the plight of, of entrepreneurs in South Africa to be unfolding. Okay. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of the GEM terminology, if you don't mind, um, just to put things into perspective. Um, the GEM model tries to measure what we would call new and sort of startup businesses, and then also measures established businesses, and it's, it's a worldwide project. So we get a lot of, I suppose, juicy information to compare ourselves uh, between other countries that are quite similar. I think what is of particular concern and has been of particular concern for quite a while is that South Africa has underperformed when we compare ourselves to Latin America, when we compare ourselves to countries like Brazil, um, also um, other countries like India, and even if we start looking into Africa, our entrepreneurial rates uh, tend to be quite low. But why the differential? The differential, I think, if one has to start looking at some of our key areas, I would say probably the most important would be our education. South Africa's education level is extremely, extremely weak. And I'm talking about the quality probably more than the quantity. And I, just to talk about the, a, a research project called the Global Competitiveness Index, to give you a frightening stat, when we talk about maths and science, and as in sort of a, an emerging economy, an economy that is supposed to be efficiency driven, we want to move into more technologically based um, businesses, maths and science becomes extremely important. Out of 139 countries, South Africa is ranked 137. Has this been identified as a key problem? Well, I think it has been, but it's quite slow. Um, the government is doing something in that we use as much resources. In, in fact, we pay and spend as much on education as the OECD countries. Yet the quality of our education, the maths and science is extremely low and the primary education is not that much better. So I think there's a lot of money being put into it, but I'm not sure if the focus and I'm not sure if the understanding about how we improve the quality of education has necessarily been looked at in as much detail as it should. What are some of the other key challenges you see entrepreneurs facing on a daily basis? Um, from a daily basis, and I'm afraid I'm going to link back to education, the concept of financial literacy within South Africa is extremely poor. That's not only in a race area, it is across races. It is across ages. Um, and it is across sectors, and that is extremely problematic. We've done an incredibly interesting project where we went to the banks and we said to them, why do you not give small businesses money? And they stepped back and they said, hang on, let's look at not only from us not giving money, but let's look at what we as a bank would expect an entrepreneur to be able to do, and then ask, do we give the right entrepreneurs money, or do we give no entrepreneurs money? At the end of the day, banks are businesses. Of course they are. They're, they're accountable to shareholders, and they've got to put profits on the bottom line. Exactly. Now, one of the interesting questions, I, we run courses with small businesses, and one of the interesting questions I ask them, I say to them, if you've got a new customer, and you don't think that customer is going to be able to pay you, would you sell on credit to that person? And to the person, every single one of these small businesses say to you, of course not. What do you think? I'm a business person. And then I turn it around to them and I say, but hang on, you are expecting the banks to treat you differently to the way you will treat other customers. That doesn't make sense. So what the banks are saying, if you can do a cash book, in other words, you can understand how to record cash, if you can manage your debtors and if you can do a proper record of inventory, we are 75% more likely to give you a loan. The problem is that less than 40% of our small, medium businesses actually can do that.